South Africa has a water problem. We regularly have shortages of water. Using a drip system to irrigate an orchard can save a lot of water. Let's have a look at the way in which drip systems operate. Drip irrigation systems can supply between 1.3 and 5 litres of water per hour per dripper. You could have more than one dripper per plant, so the amount of water delivered can be spread over the area that the root of the tree covers. Drip works very well on stone fruit, as stone fruits have very good hair root systems which utilize the water well. It's not that good for pome fruit, however. Pears struggle on drip as they tend to have a single taproot, and if the drip happens to miss that taproot, you're in trouble. So although it's not suitable for all fruits, using a drip system has some advantages over using a microjet system. The amount of water that a drip system would use in an orchard is about 30% less than that which a microjet system would use in the same orchard. It's also slightly cheaper to install. Whereas microjet systems require 100 mm mainline pipes, you can get away with using a 70 mm mainline pipe for drip systems, so you'll save a lot in pipe costs. Any sediment which may get into the pipes in the orchard will flow to the end of the line where it can be flushed once a week. So it has advantages, but it also has some negatives. Firstly, it's difficult to manage from a water scheduling point of view. You often water either too much or too little. Secondly, they also water a very local area that is just below the drip nozzle. You can put a double drip system or multiple drippers below a tree to get better coverage, but then you will be using more water and lose the advantage of water saving. And then in winter, when it rains, the ground below the trees becomes saturated. The roots grow throughout the year and in the winter will grow freely into the whole area below the canopy that has plenty of water from the rainfall. In summer, the drip system provides water to more localised areas of the roots. Suddenly, in summer, the rest of the root system which is spread out in the winter does not get water and it's a huge shock to the tree. So to sum up, drip systems work very well for stone fruit whereas microjet systems work very well for palm fruit. However, drip tends to be more difficult to manage than microjet systems. Have a look at the microjet movie to see the way that the microjet system works.